Welcome back to PJ Beach Life. One of our favorite places to dive is Cocoa View Resort in Roatan, Honduras. The diving here is superb, but more than that, the staff truly make everyone feel like part of the family. For many guests, Cocoa View is our second home. Upon arrival at the Roatan Airport, Cocoa View staff greet us and transport us to the Cocoa View Landing. From here, we will take a short boat ride to the resort itself as a resort is only accessible by boat. This is part of what makes the resort both private and cozy. This is our seventh trip to Coca View. On the dock, there is a board that lists the boat and gear locker assignments, so you can take a look to see which boat and gear locker you're assigned to. You can also take a look each day and see where your boat is going. This can help you plan if you have anything in mind that you want to check out at a particular dive site. Primary dive boats are Cocoa 1, 2, 3, and 4, affectionately referred to as the yellow boat, the blue boat, the green boat, and the red boat. There is also the Easy Diver, which is used if the resort is particularly full and for special trips like to the east end of the island. This week, we are on Cocoa 4, the red boat. Each boat has its own gear locker directly across from the boat. Each person can claim a cubby and put their gear below their cubby and smaller items inside the cubby itself. If you're diving nitrox, you'll analyze your tanks and then leave them at your cubby. The dive crew will load them and your gear onto your boat each day. The gear locker has space for your BCD, Bregs, and fins. The shelf space above can be used to store your masks, snorkel, rash guards, and anything else that you will carry onto the boat. There's space in between the cubbies where you can hang up a wetsuit to dry if it's raining outside. Right on the other side of the gear lockers, there are clotheslines that you can use to hang things up when it's nice and not raining. Each gear locker has three very large rinse bins. There's one designated for your BCDs, regulators, masks, fins. There's a separate designated bin just for cameras and dive computers. There's one bin for wetsuits. It has a bit of a detergent in it to help keep wetsuits from getting stinky after a week of diving. In addition to the rinse bins to clean your gear, there are freshwater showers you can use to rinse the salt off. At one end of the dock, there are three restrooms. This way you don't have to go all the way back to your room or to the clubhouse. This is especially handy if you're wet as you can walk right in. Dockside Dive Center is the on-site dive shop. They offer a wide variety of courses, including introductory courses like Discover Scuba Diving and Open Water Certification courses, specialty courses, and all the way up to dive master training. They are a full retail shop, equipment repair shop, and also offer a full line of dive gear available for rental. Also on the dock is a camera room where you can set up your camera gear. 
It's a short walk with it right to your boat. The camera room is set up with ample space for at least a dozen photographers to set up their cameras and battery charging stations. At the on-site photo video center, you can rent camera gear. Everything from an entire setup, or if you just need to rent a camera or just a light or other accessories. There are also courses available, both on improving your photography, as well as photo naturalist courses, where you can learn more about what you're seeing and how to find the unusual things. Coco View has a style of diving that I call 2 plus 2. You go out in the morning with two tanks for each diver. You will do a boat dive out on one of the reefs with your dive master. You'll then do a surface interval. At the end of your surface interval, the boat will drop you off at your choice of spots. Off to the northeast, there's Coca View Wall. A little bit farther south, there's Newman's Wall. Directly right out in front, there's a Prince Albert shipwreck. You can choose to drop on any of these. You will do your dive independently with you and your dive buddy. And then as you conclude your dive, you just swim right back into shore. The boat goes out twice a day. Once in the morning for a boat dive and drop off dive. Then you come back for lunch. And then you go out again in the afternoon for a boat dive and a drop off dive. And of course you can grab tanks and go for a shore dive at any time, day or night. Outside of the main office, there are boards that give you an idea of what's going on each day, as well as sign-up sheets for island tours, dinners out at a nearby restaurant, and other activities like shark dives. There's a gift shop where you can buy your favorite Coca View apparel. They also sell shampoo and other essentials that you might have forgotten at home. There are paddle boards and kayaks available that you can take out. The front yard here is very shallow. It's great for snorkeling. You could literally just spend hours. I do recommend a good reef safe sunscreen or rush guard if you do that though. There are hammocks scattered throughout the grounds, including three out here on the gazebo over the water. You can lay here and watch as the divers come in from their drop off dives. There's a nurse's first aid station at Coca View. Whether you've got a minor issue or if you need serious medical attention, Nurse Andrea will get you the medical care you need. If diving all day and night isn't enough exercise for you, there's an exercise room available on the premises. The exercise room includes both cardio and strength training options. Coco Grounds crew does a fantastic job of keeping the grounds looking beautiful for all the guests. Between the cabanas and the beach houses, there is a new sand beach. There are several lounging chairs where you can either lay out in the sun or under the shade of a palm tree. There is an outdoor shower here as well where you can rinse before heading back.
So here we have the bar. Hello. Everyone's favorite bartender, Willie. Nice to meet that guy back over there. Hi. The clubhouse has a pool table, hook and ring game, dartboard, ping pong table. Many nights there is a band playing. The food service is at one side of the clubhouse. There is an ice machine, a small refrigerator with things like yogurts, milk, and creamer. There are a variety of drinks, usually fresh lemonade, tea, and coffee. Very often some sort of juice or punch as well. In a few hours, they'll be setting up the buffet for dinner. The dining area has a variety of different options for seating. There are large tables if you came with a large group or if you've met friends on your dive boat. There are also smaller private tables for two. And several tables outside out over the water as well. Upstairs on the outside balcony, there are hammocks where you can sit and watch the sunset. The indoor second floor area is a classroom where the welcome orientation meeting will be held on Saturday night. In addition, there are several free educational seminars offered throughout the week. There are five categories of accommodations at Cocoa View. Just a few steps away from the clubhouse, there are two bungalows out over the water with two units each. There are nine oceanfront rooms with a great view looking out over the water. There is a mango suite, which is a two bedroom, two bath suite. There are three cabana buildings, each with four units that are out over the water. This trip we are staying in C11 at the far end of the cabanas. The rooms have great ocean breezes. Of course, they do have air conditioning as well. Every unit has its own private bathroom. Please be aware that Cocoa View avoids the use of single-use plastics, such as small toiletry bottles. Therefore, shampoo and conditioner are not provided, and you should bring your own. The rooms include a coffee maker and coffee supplies. There's a desk and chair. There's a small lockbox where you can store cash or other valuables. The rooms also have shelves, a balcony, a water jug with fresh purified water, a small fridge, an area where you can hang up clothing. But the resort is very casual. There's really no need to bring anything too fancy. Continuing on out onto the balcony. Out here, there are a couple chairs, a table, and your own private hammock. There's a clothesline out here as well. Another popular lodging option are the beach houses. There are about a dozen beach houses just past the sand beach. Each of these are distinct often reflecting the style of their individual owners. The beach houses are a great option for families or groups of friends traveling together. But all good things have to come to an end. Before we know it, we're back on the boat and headed for home.